What's going on YouTube? Hello my tackle hoarders out there. APFA back again in the tank. Um, today we are testing out uh, Berkeley Havoc uh, wide load. It's a 5 inch bait. Uh, this is in Bama Bug. You guys can see that. Um, we're transitioning into fall. A lot of things are going on clearance now. I happen to find these for like two bucks a bag. Um, not very familiar with this bait. We'll take a look at it here. This is it. I, I don't know how to describe it. Um, you got the two arms there that flap. And then you have this big huge tail which you can split. Real easy to do that. I was playing around with this in the tank uh, earlier and the best way I figured out how to use this is kind of like a soft jerk bait. I had it Texas rigged. Um, I can't really Carolina rig in here. You can use it on a shaky head. That looks pretty good. But the most effective way I've seen to use this, as you can see, I have it in there. It's kind of like a fluke style bait. It's got with that big huge tail back there. You can just see how it glides through the water like that. Um, like I said, for two bucks, you can't go bad. Um, Bama Bugs, decent color. Um, it's got the purple, blue flake, and a little uh, green pumpkin in it. But you can see, it's got a nice gliding action like that. So the best way I could use this is just like this rigged up weightless on a four or five odd EWG and use it like a fluke style bait you know it's it's got that profile of like a dying bait fish um you can split the tail on that I haven't tested that this way we'll do that in a minute um like I said I was playing around with it earlier um I went ahead and tried to modify the tail. I recently put out a video showing on how to modify uh, paddle tail worms to get more action out of them. I mean I did that two on each side and I split this and I still couldn't get any real big action out of that big paddle tail whatever you want to call it on the back. So, like I said, on a shaky head, it, it, it's pretty good. Um, a jig trailer, it's good. Um, I'd probably use it for this method here. If you guys run into these and you pick them up, you know, it's got a very slow descent like that. You know, when you jerk it through the water, you get those arms kicking a little bit. You know, it's got a little shimmy on the way down. I'm going to use it something like that. To me that looks good. Um, we'll split the tail on this and see if that changes the action at all. And then we'll take a closer look at the bait. Here we go, tail split. Yeah, see no, no big difference there. It's got that gliding action through the water. You know, it's not a bad bait for what it is if you're going to use it like this. But I haven't really found out any other way to make this as a effective as I could besides using it as like a soft jerk bait. So that's what I plan to do on this. You know it's transitioning into fall you start throwing a lot of more a lot more uh, slower moving baits. Um, I really like throwing a fluke exclusively fluke style bait in the fall time. And uh, I think this will be a good addition to them. I only picked up the one bag because like I said I wasn't familiar with the bait. It was the first time I've seen it, the first time I heard of it. So I figured I'd pick it up 
and see what it could do. Um, I'm a big fan of flukes, soft jerk baits. I throw them all year long. So I might go back and pick up another bag or two. Like I said, they were on sale at my Cabela's for $2 a bag. I believe it was It's a six count, so it's an okay deal. You can see the arms kick a little bit back and forth. It's got a little bit of a wobble in it. You know, it's got a faster descent, I think, than, than a normal fluke, but that's okay. You can fish it a little bit faster and just let it drop. Let me show you guys one of these close up. Try to move the light a little bit. This is a dark color, so it's harder to show up on camera. But you can see a big, huge paddle tail there. Uh, pretty much pre-cut, so you can separate it really easily. Um, the top of it here, if I can get the right angle on it, is kind of ribbed, so you guys can scent it a little bit easier, cause a little bit more vibration in the water, along with these arms here. And it's just got that head on there, belly smooth. As you can see there but yeah I mean for two bucks I figured why not um, like I said I played around with it in the tank and the best way I found to use it um, is a you know a fluke style soft jerk bait uh, style bait but still looks effective that way like I said, in the slower months, winter, late fall, early fall, you know, in spring, you want to really slow down. I think this is a good representation of a bait fish dying. So if you're thinking about picking them up, get the chance to, go ahead. Um, like I said, play around with them, but I think this is a very good effective way to fish these baits. But... I'm going to get on out of here. Like I said, Berkeley Havoc. This is the five inch Skeet Reef designed wide load. The color is Bama Bug. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out the rest of my channel. Got more tank tests on there, fishing tips, unboxings. So like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, send me a comment. I always try to reply and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.